A while back, Oprah Winfrey was being interviewed on the radio, and the radio host asked her, Oprah, how do you feel about your work? And she said, my work yet? He said, no, no, your work. And she said, oh, I love my work. It's such a blessing to be able to do what I do, to you know, make an impact and help millions of people every day. And the announcer said, that's great. How do you feel about your workout? And there was silence on the end of the phone. It's like, Oprah, are you still there? She goes, yes, yes. How do I feel about my workout? Well, I just want to lose my fat butt. Now, let me ask you something. Can you feel the difference in communication? I mean, take a moment and really think about the emotion that lies behind each response. She's extremely passionate about her work. She sees herself as being able to help big numbers of people on a daily basis. And when it comes to business, she's a powerhouse, you know, possibly one of the most influential women ever. The second response was pure frustration. And obviously, Oprah's had a very prolonged, very public battle with her weight, you know, filled with the typical ups and downs that we all experience. So how does one of the world's most successful women fail so miserably at one of her major life goals? Well, I've got two words for you. Self-image. See, I think that on some level, she sees herself as fat. Now, how we view ourselves really determines the limits of what we're able to create in our lives. That's it. It's, it's nothing else, you know. We always act in accordance with what we believe to be true about ourselves. In fact, we simply can't behave in a way that's inconsistent with our own self-image. So the story that we have about who we are is always a self-fulfilling prophecy. And I know that very well, you know, I had the same experience when I was trying to lose weight. I was a power lifter and a strong man and uh, I had bulked up because I thought that's what I needed to do to be strong. And um, I really got used to thinking of myself as like the big ugly strong guy such that when I decided to lose weight, it didn't really jive with the persona I created and I continually sabotaged myself without really realizing why. It wasn't until I started consciously trying to alter my self-image that I was able to lose the weight and keep it off long term. One step is just to learn to pay attention to the stories that we have about ourselves. You know, in my case, I realized that being uh, strong was really wired together with being big. So to start to separate those two in my mind, I started to notice lean strongman champions like Yuka Ahola of Finland and uh, Marius Puchinovsky of Poland. And really lean and strong became my new ideal. And I would just try to notice as many examples of that as I could. And the more that I did that, the more that I started to believe that it was possible for me to be that way too. For a lot more ideas on how you can change your self-image and uh, much, much more, be sure to visit my website at connorkelly.com. Uh, and once again, thank you so much for watching this video and uh, happy transforming.